current precision intraocular lens injector systems require the use of both hands during the injection process. While one hand is used to hold and rotate the body of the injector, a second hand has to twist a threaded plunger in an opposite direction to push the IOL into the eye. This combined action distracts the second hand from performing helpful tasks like stabilizing the globe and guiding the IOL and the trailing aptic into the capsular bag. Probably aware of the inconvenience and complexity of this bimanual method to operate IOL injectors, manufacturers have introduced improved or alternative solutions. Allergan has recently advertised a T-series injector with a very open thread pitch that allows to inject the IOL just by holding the threaded plunger in position while only the body of the injector is rotated. One half revolution aligns the IOL during unfolding while it simultaneously advances the plunger in a calculated amount for adequate IOL delivery. The injection process becomes simpler as no twisting action is required over the injector plunger. Although there is some simplification of the injection maneuver, this injector system operation still remains bimanual. A single hand operated syringe like injector called M port is currently advertised by Bausch and Lomb. This injector has a one to one displacement relationship between the operator's hand pushing action and the advance of the IOL. This fact can account for an uncontrolled IOL delivery process if it were used with very small incision injectable IOLs because of the high compression forces and deformation rates involved. Our goal was to focus on developing a precision, very small incision, single hand operated IOL injector. We created a single hand electrically operated automated IOL injector based on an unfolder gold series injector. This prototype was constructed only for research purposes and served as a reference model to design a potentially useful device. The power source consisted in a microcontroller driven 5 mm diameter micromotor equipped with a reduction gearbox. A tapered thread was created to allow engagement of the plunger to a rotating powering mechanism. This mechanism incorporated a friction clutching system to allow standard two-handed operation and as a safety device. A battery operated controller circuit was constructed based on a microcontroller. The controller circuit functions were to interpret the operator commands, provide the appropriate electric signals for the powering motor and to provide visual and audible signals to the user reporting the injector operating status. The user interface consisted in a non-directional pressure detection system located in the grasping area of the injector. The injector powering system controller responded to finger pressure transients applied by the user to the sensitive area in the injector body. Operator commands followed a circular logic cycling between standby, forward, standby and reverse plunger displacement. The implanted IOL in all cases was an AMO 5.5 mm silicone IOL that matches the unfolded gold series injector characteristics. Standard 2.7 mm temporal near clear cornea phacomulsification technique was used. After loading the IOL cartridge, the plunger was advanced until the leading aptic of the IOL was almost emerging through the injector tip. The injection process was started by pressing the command sensor at the injector body. The opposite hand was used to stabilize the globe by holding a guiding instrument inside the anterior chamber through the paracentesis. This hand proved useful to complete the insertion of the trailing aptic into the capsular bag. This maneuver was necessary when the plunger failed to engage the aptic during the secondary impulse to complete the IOL introduction. Our challenge was to simplify the system to produce a practical device that could perform well under a common surgical environment. Our initial idea was to devise a spring-powered mechanically operated system that would provide forward and backward plunger motion under operator control. We realized, however, that developing a reliable, autoclavable, spring-powered mechanic system would result too complex and expensive to replace currently used bimanual injector systems. 
We learned from our electronic prototype that the main aspects for precise IOL injection are controlled speed and proper orientation. Contrarily, injection force is irrelevant as its magnitude is negligible when compared to the potential force of the operator's fingers. With these considerations in mind, we refocused on developing a manually powered precision IOL injector prototype. We designed a manually powered IOL injector aimed to improve the currently known single hand systems. Our system consists in a separate planger engraved with the tiny grooves designed to permit a unidirectional displacement. The injector body is equipped with a one way retention system that only allows displacement of the planger in a forward direction. The holding area of the injector has a radial to axial displacement converter system based on compressible steel sheets. Axial pressure applied by the fingers of the operator produce a forward displacement of an anterior ring. This ring is equipped with a second unidirectional retention system that pushes the grooves of the plunger each time the user compresses the holding area of the injector body. The combined action of both retention systems allows a controlled forward displacement of the plunger rod. The loading procedure for the system consists in first loading the cartridge with the IOL and inserting the cartridge in the injector body in a standard fashion. Then the silicone tip is attached to the plunger. The plunger itself is inserted by the rear end of the injector body engaging the IOL and pushing it to the tip of the injector cartridge. The length of the plunger was calculated to allow a quick IOL loading procedure leaving the leading aptic almost emerging at the cartridge tip and ready for implantation. The implantation procedure starts with the insertion of the injector tip into the eye. The IOL ejection process is carried out by repeated pressure cycles exerted by the operator's fingers over the grasping area of the injector body. The injector is rotated while ejecting the lens to properly align the IOL components with the capsular plane. The opposite hand stabilizes the globe and helps to release the trailing aptic into the capsular bag as there is no back and forth action to help to release the trailing aptic with the injector. The device allowed a controlled injection by converting a centripetal displacement into a precise forward displacement of the IOL pushing planger. Based on the favorable performance of our precision single hand powered IOL injector, we want to propose the development of an easy to operate, safe, reliable and inexpensive commercially available device that includes the concepts used in our prototype. Such device would be constructed of low cost disposable materials such as plastic and metals to allow a single use. The plunger can be preloaded into the injector body carrying the silicone tip as no autoclaving is necessary. After loading the IOL cartridge the removal of a safety stopper would allow quick unattended advance of the plunger to the pre-injection position. The operator would deliver the IOL into the capsular bag by repeated presses of the fingers over the grasping area of the injector body. Such area would be designed in a cylindrical fashion to allow easy rotation of the injector body during IOL injection. Motivated by the known limitations of current devices, we have presented a prototype of an improved IOL injector and showed it in operation. We have also proposed a development project to construct a similar device for clinical use.